Mark, that was a, that was a good fight back after tea, wasn't it? Um, yeah, I thought it was actually. Um, you're obviously all aware that it was an obvious bowl first with the with the wicket having been on the cover for a couple of days and and, and the cloud cover and the moisture and all that. So we knew it was going to be challenging up front. Um, and, I, and I think to still be batting, I was really disappointed to lose that final wicket. Um, but to be still batting at the end of the day proves that we've worked really hard today and, and done pretty well for ourselves. How tough was it out there? What, 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 what are you hearing from the boys downstairs? Yeah, I think the first hour, I was actually over in the nets doing some practice with some of the other lads, but it, it was quite clear that there was quite a lot happening. And we've, we've spoken a little bit about this prior to, to this game, about how we how we approach the game when, when we're faced with conditions like that. Uh, ultimately, it's very difficult as coaches to tell players what to do. You know, we, we want players to sort of have a confidence to play their way and people find their way to to try and do the best in fairly challenging conditions. And I think it was important that, that we give them that responsibility. And we saw Haas dig in and we saw the players look, look to take the ball on. Um, as, as it's turned out today, I think, you know, I thought we had some really good partnerships towards the end there and great to see Haas still batting. Yeah, and, and the way that, that in the end Haas has ended the day, almost two different type of innings in one that we've seen from Haas today, like digging, as you mentioned, and then actually you could see him visibly grow in confidence, I think, as, as it went on. I think that's the key word for me. It, clearly, you can just see more confidence in his play and his body language and everything about him, and, and that comes with runs, doesn't it? We all know that. We all know that when you're struggling for form, runs seem hard to come by, and then when you've spent time at the crease and uh, and that confidence grows as your inning progresses, you just become more fluent. Um, the, the, the sort of balancing act is trying to find a, uh, a method as an individual. Each individual has to find their way on on pitches like that, and and you know there is an argument to say you come a bit harder at the ball to try and move the game forward. You know if we'd have got bowled out with for 200 but bowled for an hour you don't know where the game would be would do you so so that's the sort of balance that we're all wrestling with there's no right answer to that I think you know given where we are now we're all pretty happy with the way it's turned out is that the balance he's wrestling with too as well do you think I think everybody yeah but um you know when, when you're not in I, I don't want to put words in Hass's mouth but when, when you're not in or you've certainly not had a back of, a run of scores behind you then you know your confidence gets gets challenged. That's just the nature of just the game we're in. Um, and you know I, I can certainly relate to how Hass goes about his play. You know I I, I found a way of, of for me it was about trying to battle it out. For other people they like to hit their way out of of times like that. Hass showed at Hampshire that he was in defensively and technically in pretty good shape. And clearly today. To, to sort of absorb the pressure and, and the movement early on. And and um, I haven't seen his whole innings, by the way, but uh, is it Chancellor's innings so far? Dropped on one. Mm -hmm. Dropped on one. I didn't see that because I was over in the net. So, But, you know, for him to then bat a length of time that, that he has um, shows that he, his game is in reasonable order. It's just the confidence of scoring runs. And you saw towards the end of his innings how, how his game... Um, and his scoring options do increase and you know, in an ideal world he's going to bring that into his innings earlier on. The 70 odd at Hampshire, the way he's batted today, has he almost kind of just had to strip it back a little bit and just go back to what he did originally, go back to basics for a, a turn of phrase? Well, you, could, you know, that's one observation from today, isn't it? I mean, we, we certainly don't tell him what we think he should be doing and he has to find his, his way. As we've talked about, some people have different methods and and at the minute, Hass is in it, has a, a method for himself to try and absorb the pressure, spend time at the crease and hopefully become more fluent. And that, at the end of the day, has worked for him today and it's worked for us as a team. There is no right answer with it, with it for this. It's just a case of individuals trying to find their way that works best for them. Um, the game is always about trying to simplify it. And for me, it is when, when things are going tough, trying to keep it as simple as possible. Um, but every player has to have their own methods. And with regards to the game, um, well, there's a bit of weather forecasting there for tomorrow yeah. and for Friday. You, you, you need to try and win it, but things are stacked against you. Let's hope everything kind of works in your favour. Yeah, that's right. I mean, we, we obviously were all aware of that at the start of start of play as well. Um, we knew we were, we were going to face a bit of a battle with the bat today. That was pretty obvious. Um, and, you know, I suppose it's a bit of the old cliche, but there's no point us getting too far ahead of ourselves. We have to try and 
take each hour of play in isolation and try and put ourselves in a position where either we're picking up points or at some point we we're able to put Essex under pressure. Um, that's going to be challenging to do with the forecast and, the, and the only two days left in the game. But you never know; the weather can change. And if we can, if it's bright in the morning and we can, you know, put another 50, 60 runs on the board and get close to 300 and, and try and you know take a couple of early wickets, you never know. So that, that's that's certainly where we the way we see it at the minute. Cool.